chickadees! My name is Sierra Teal, and welcome back to Party Heart. Last time we went on the left off in our last episode is that we went to open air, and we finished the level, but part of the episode two is that we also went to Party Bus. The Where I'm going to go off right now is that on Party Bus and open air, these two, the game was still like in progress or something. The game developers were like tweaking and changing things up, and we never got to see the ending for either both of these games or both of the levels so i was thinking whether if you would like continue like watching the story and i am i am very interested in seeing what ha actually happens so i'm gonna actually finish these with my regular guy this is the first area of the party bus is super easy you just gotta stab everyone and it seems pretty e simple enough where like i can get this like really quickly but once i go to the open air it's gonna take a little bit of while to get back everything that i had now if you could just get grab the case and then after this, we'll see the story. If you're not wanting to see the story and just want to see gameplay, that's fine. But like for people who want to stick around and actually see what's like gonna happen inside like the whole game, what's going right now, they like stick around until I get to the end of the game. Or to the end of the level, I should say. Okay, it's just this guy. And then we could get to the cutscene. Oh, and my mouse is in the middle of it. Heard it? It always happens. And dancing in the smoke, nobody can see me. All right, yes, we would like to continue in seeing what the story is. If it's gonna play the story. Please, please do, I, I tested it before. Yes, it's playing the story. I played it like a few days ago and it was working. I so. finally caught them Yay. a few weeks later, out in the middle of nowhere. Me. His car just pulled up onto a dirt path. What was he doing, Mr. West? I'd been staring at photos of Katie every night for the last month. The ink had started to run off where I'd been pressing the corner so tightly. What was he doing, Mr. West? He was admiring his handiwork. Did we kill I her? Don't worry, Mr. West. The chances are it's what she wanted anyway. To be one of his works of art, so to speak. Oh, we killed Fuck her. Him. I was ready to put a bullet in the back of his head there and then. It would have been so easy, so satisfying. It was what he deserved. What changed? I just mind? wanted peace and quiet. The American people rely on figures like myself to uphold the law. Killing him would have made us one and the same. How very noble of you, John. Once again, fuck you. Yeah. But you know, the world is a funny way of showing gratitude for such selfless acts. I assume you're referring to the blinding light that apparently engulfed your car. I still what? have no idea what it was or what caused it. I guess this terror of darkness has somehow found a friend in the light. And of course, when I came to, I found my car had made a strong connection with rather incompatible foliage. Worse still, my back seat was devoid of serial killers. Hmm. So, lights were blinding him. Maybe from the open air lights that were going on the party? I don't know. That could have been one of them that maybe hurt his car, but what was that? So now it's to the open air. This is gonna take a little bit longer, but I'm gonna get to it, finish it, and then we'll get to see that cutscene too. And then we'll play with, I'm gonna play with my regular guy. I think, if anything funky or funny happens, I'll definitely put it inside the video. And then we've got the last person into the whole area, which is the DJ. I just gotta slice off his head and then done with open air. That took me, I felt like 20 minutes. It'll tell me the time sometime soon. But I use a lot more of my dance to get all the AI out of the way and the, the area, the people that kept st staying in the same area, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Yeah, that was really good. Let's see the ending of this and then we can move into the new area. The Descent, Ooh. a violent maelstrom. Nature has a way of bringing the most devious of minds back down to earth. And shortly after the sawmill massacre, our psychopaths succumbed to the outdoors of all things. Really hmm. now, Mr. West, can we stop with the cliched storytelling? <laughs> what is he doing? This isn't a tale from Narnia. <laughs> How could you possibly know his motivations for being in that wood? Perhaps he wanted to feel closer to nature. Perhaps uh, he was no. tired of killing. Just maybe he wanted to feel closer to his victims. Oh. All I know is when the cops turned up to search the surrounding areas, they turned up nothing. And this was a place right out in the middle of nowhere. So it wasn't like he could have gone far. There was only one possible explanation. He managed to hitch a ride out of there. You think he called the paramedics himself? Well, it makes sense, right? Splatter yourself with some of the blood at a mass murder scene and the medics aren't exactly going to be picky about who they pick up. He's breathing, 
so you get him to the wagon ASAP. Okay. Of course, this particular victim was breathing a little too well for his or their own good. I what? guess they may be adding oh. a new phrase to the ambulance protocol handbook. Never give drugs to a psychopath. Oh, no. So he, like, slipped in to get a little bit farther up ahead into the map. Wow, that's what happened? So he dragged himself to, like, get into a van to get a free ride, and then he killed the people in the van. Smart and really scary. I'd be feeling sorry for all the people who actually work now in the medical field and that take people in vans. But we're on to the pool party, which is uh, somewhere interesting where we're going from the pool from open air, but I don't, I don't question it. Dude, this music's awesome! It's just, it's a rooftop party, but it's got a pool in it! What the heck? This is awesome! I love it! Oh, I can't, I can't stop to this music. It's so good. I love it. I love it so much. I've noticed too, um, part in some of the episodes or like some of the videos I made, a lot of the music is copyrighted. And I think, I'm thinking of maybe going back to my older videos. Hopefully this song isn't copyrighted. It might be. But like the person who made this game, they, um, wanted to specify all of the music into this game was just for the game but it somehow like refers back to like the copyright for some reason and now I can't like put the original music up here on YouTube which is kind of sad because it's really good but uh, yeah if I decide maybe if this music isn't coming on then I might replace it for another song that's really still cool it's got dancing beats so yeah I just want to put off right here from like this episode like if for some reason it doesn't sound like the original soundtrack from the game that I put something else, it's because of the copyright. And I love this game a lot, that I don't want to like lose progress for you guys not to like wonder like, hey, I remember playing this or seeing her play this game, but like what happened to it? But yeah, it's just because of that. But I am continuing because it is a really fun game. I love it so much. For how difficult it is for some of the levels, it's really fun. You get to like learn like how to like, take care of things. And there's two bouncers in here. Just like in the rooftop party on our uh, first level in our area. It was like the third one? I forgot the poster it was on. I think it was the third or fourth. And this was perfect area. What? Is that a ninja? Cut the rope. It's a ninja just sitting on the side of the wall. What was he doing? Was he gonna... This isn't a ninja party. Sorry. No ninjas allowed. I would allow ninjas. All ninjas are welcome. But you, you should be joining the party, not be hiding behind it. Oh, freaking jet. I don't. I hope that's not coming up. And I could cut the rope. Again, it doesn't count as kill points, but it's just fun, like, getting to see all the people, like, drop to the floor. And, oh, they're graffitiing the side of the walls, I think. Nah, they must be washing the, the windows for whoever left it on there. So, we don't have the dance floor. For the dance floor, we could, like, electrocute the thing, and I didn't know about that. There's nothing I can electrocute in here. I can metal mess with, oh, I thought I could mess with the, the floaties. I can't do that. Oh, but I could go down the slide, though. Can I go into the slide? Wait, before I start killing people, let us have some, I mean, I have fun nonetheless killing people. I'm not gonna go that near that bouncer. Can I go past this bouncer without getting hit? I just, whoo. I just want to go down the tube, down the slide. I'm gonna wait for him to walk the other way, and then maybe, hopefully, I can maybe... Maybe stab him, but maybe hopefully I want to go down the slide. I want to go sliding. Can I go down the slide? Okay, he's far away. <sighs> Yay! I went down the slide! That was so cool! Wee! <laughs> I'm a child again. I am always a child when I play this game or play any games. Oh, I love it so much. That is so cool though. Where is my trench coat guy though? He should have been here by now. I was on the, um, on the open air game and he came out and he finally gave me some items but he only gave me one item which was the worst worst item that he could have gave me was spare clothes i mean it helped me at some point but like there were like two spares of set clothes i had one from the black briefcase that i had back from uh picking up the briefcase that was over near the dumpster and then he gave me one extra pair it's like wow thanks i really need an extra pair of clothing yeah, I really needed it. But in case, I really didn't need to. I also noticed. Can I? Oh, I can't dump it here. 
Wait, I can't dump it over the wall though, right? There we go, okay, that's what the exclamation point was. I thought there was a moment, moment when we played a rooftop party that there was a gap, and there it wasn't broken down. This looks like it got torn off. This is like construction over here. So that's a little bit different from the other setup too. I wonder if I could kill this. I can't, I can't. I just need to be quick about it and throw him over. Oh, and the other guy who's serving drinks is over here. I gotta take him, throw him over the, off the edge. Perfect. I wish you could put more than one person in the fans though. You could put more than one person that was in the saw in the open air. But like, why can't the blades take more than one person like into the blades? I mean, the blades can crush anything up. It should never stop them. Oh my gosh, people are just sleeping right beside me. You know that's a bad idea, right? Oh, that's right. I keep taking it to the fan. This is a bad, I mean, it's a great sleeping spot. I mean, it's open in the area. You feel the cool breeze into your face. You've got the couch right here. I mean, it's a nice napping spot. But I mean, if I'm around, you should nap. You should never nap when you know that there might be danger around. If you don't know where danger is around, then you need a danger detector level for some reason. Okay. Oh! Wait, I killed you! Why aren't you gone? I threw him over the wall! This happened last time. Oh no! Why is the bouncer over here? Shoot! Why is he over here? What? Why isn't he? This happened with the ghost lady too. I threw her off. Oh no, I'm on the helicopter pad. I don't want to get crushed. I threw the lady over and then the body just hung there. What's going on? Well, thank you for taking care of it though. There you go. And it's still dripping blood. It's a ghost. He came for the, that was his husband. That was her husband. He's like, ooh, I didn't die. I saw my husband. And now he didn't die and now he's bleeding internally or he's bleeding everywhere even when his dead body or his ghostly form is still there i love the trees though <laughs> going off topic the papa trees look it's a rainbow tree this is my perfect hiding spot we're gonna go oh no is the other waiter coming down here no go waiter some other people go give them some other drink somewhere else unless one of you is gonna take a nap they're not against the wall oh oh no oh, don't leave both of you why is the why is the bouncer coming my way? What's over here that you want so much? I just want a light stroll. This is hard. I just need to avoid him and the other guy over there. It'd be a lot harder if they put like three or four in here, but I'm so glad there's only two in here. I want, where is my trench coat guy? I can't take care of these guys unless like everyone is clear out and that it's the only ones that are visible view because if they're still out, and I kill them. People are gonna like spot him and then like call for people to uh, call the police. And I don't want that. Can I just pull this, push this guy over? Oh, I can. Good job. Good job, me. Is this guy near the wall? Stay, stay where you are. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. What, what, what? Oh, oh, I can't. He's not close enough. Darn it. Oh, you're taunting me. He's right in reach and I can't grab him. Oh, I can grab this guy though. So I can't get grab you. Eh. I can't throw the cowboy over the edge. This is ridiculous. Why can't I do it? This is fucked up. This is like horse malarkey. I should throw that guy over the wall. Oh, and their briefcase is over there too. Ah! 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 Oh no, gosh darn it. Yeah, the, the case is over there. Why is there a conga line starting? See, I wish it was electrified floor. Then I could like, electrify the whole conga line. Uh. This is so hard. How am I gonna do this if like my trench coat guy isn't here? Uh, please, let me see I can throw this woman over. I can't. Oh, wait, why is the bar lighting up? Make a call. No, there's break bungalow. Can I break it? I can break, oh, I don't wanna get caught. What is this house is breaking? What's gonna happen? Is it gonna explode? What's gonna happen to the bungalow? Is someone supposed to be behind it? Oh, that's what I thought, because that happened with the tower. If you broke the tower, it broke a certain way, but it, now it's actually time, so if there's a person behind it, then you can actually have the person behind it and let it fall off. Now, okay, you're gone. Good, you stay off that edge. I'll kick your body off if I need to. Maybe I should make a call. 
Do you think I should make a call? Is that a good decision? I mean, I don't think the zombies are gonna come up here. You know what? Let's try it out. All, all the calls are kind of different. So what kind of call is this? Is this gonna call it my trench coat guy? Please. Oh no, it's a bunch of people from a Halloween party. Oh my gosh. That's cool. What are they gonna do though? Wait, does this add more people? Do they not help me kill people? Oh no. I did a bad, didn't I? I added more people to invite to the party. Oh no, this isn't good. I have to, gosh darn it. I just gave myself a whole platter of a buffet that I can't eat all of it. Well, that's a great description, didn't I just? <laughs> hey Mario, I see you're enjoying the party. I'm just gonna dance here, maybe break some of you guys up so you can go somewhere else. Don't hurt me though. Where are you gonna go? Aw oh, man, no, why don't you come down here to the nice airy area on the uh, balcony? So I can... Rabbit, do not see me. Rabbit, 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 rabbit. There we go. Oh good, good timing. So then I could kill you. Why didn't I, he go over the wall? At least that guy doesn't see him. Oh, cause he's gonna take a nap. Why can't I throw so many people over? Please don't spot them. He sp she spots them. I threw them over and they don't like disappear. What's going on? That's like my perfect killing spot. Do I can't, can I not? I mean, I could still use it once in a while, but it seems like all the people get stuck and jammed. People's bodies are being jammed into the crevice of the broken column, the wall area. So I have to kick them in there and then they never go through, which is like not convenient. I want this to be convenient and it's not. Ah, shoot, I meant to pick it up. I didn't mean to kill him. Oh, shoot. Okay, maybe I can run around the palm tree. I don't know, where is he? Where's the cop? Oh, shoot, he's gonna get me. He's got me. Oh, man. I was trying to run away and pick up the body and I ended up killing it. I didn't mean to do it. Well, it's a good fresh start. Again, I didn't want to do that. And that is actually the new, like, oh, noob. I guess that's the new like busted scene. Instead of like the one that we had before that was like the stamp, this is like a bigger stamp, but like that's really cool. But now again, it's not cool because I have to start all over again, kill those 11 plus people, plus those other people that I could have had but I didn't get. I wonder if there's like an achievement if you kill more than the people that you have numbered in your kill slots. Like if you kill, if like you make a call, Kill the people in there and then you get like an achievement. I probably isn't, but it is a thought. You're cool with me just picking up people, right? I mean, this guy is just sleeping. You're cool with it. Good to know. Yeah, I'm just helping him look at the over the scenic view. He's got a parachute on, don't worry. He just likes to, that's, pre that's his profession. He likes to go parachuting. You didn't know that? Oh, you didn't know? He told me he mumbled in his sleep. Oh, instead of a ninja this time, it's like a graffitiist down there? Get out of here. <laughs> he graffiti the wall anyway with Vok? V O K? Is that what it spells? I think so. Are you guys gonna take a nap? Yes, you are taking a nap. I could just pick you up and then throw you over. Oh, good, you're taking a nap too? This is perfect. I just pick you up. Throw you over. Maybe that's what kind of glitches it. If you kill a person and then you throw it over. I don't know. It could be one of the few uh, reasons why it's doing it. Ooh, oh shoot, I thought those guys can't see me up here. I'm stuck, I can't. There's no way for me to run out here once I'm down here. Gosh darn it, I'll meddle with the crowd. Nobody can see me. I'll just hide behind, I'll hide behind the bar. Where, oh, they came from the, the elevator. Okay, you can't get me. No, no. Shoot, I'm stuck. Okay, good, I'm too old for this shit. Yeah, you are. Nobody can get me. Gosh darn it, where's my tent? Trench coat guy! Maybe when this guy is coming down and nobody's following me, I can step in the back? Ooh, I was really close to him and he didn't get me. Oh, he's 
straight on center. I am going this way. I am not looking anywhere else. Oh. Oh, I was good to go in forward to them because that person's right there. Oh, because the body's still there. The police didn't take care of it. I'm going to stay right here, though. I think they're following the... Who's going to pick up the phone? Yeah, finally. How long will it wait will it out there? Yeah. Pick up the phone. Take care of the body. I mean, I like to take care of it, but you guys might accuse me for me near a body. Oh, this guy's... Oh, man. I was about to say, stay where you are because then I could throw you over the wall. I mean, show you a great view. Oh, I could throw the, uh, I didn't know I could throw the DJ over the roof. That is so cool. I just got close enough and I picked him up and the music's still going. <laughs> Having to disperse everyone gone is really hard. I always like to get take care of the bodyguards first, but I can't when there's so many eyes around. I've been following both of these guys' paths. The guy on the blue, uh, the like uh, blonde hair is a lot easier to track than the guy with the black hair. They kind of switch once in a while. They switch places, but this time it's the blonde guy. I'm kind of waiting for him if he comes towards this way, because then I could go from behind him, hopefully, and then, like, stab him. I'm just waiting for him to move. Like, somewhere in front of the pool area. There he goes. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Okay, and then... Yes! Oh! I was so nervous right there. I thought maybe I'd miss, and then he'd see my knife out of my hand. I took care of one of the bodyguards. Okay, I just need to take care of the other guy. He has, doesn't have a lot of people around him except the people up top, so I might be okay on distance, but once he gets towards that steps, I have to wait for him to turn around, and he doesn't turn around. So either I distract him somehow, oh, my heart's racing right now, because I've gotten so far, it's taken a very long time just to get this guy. It's hard, because I can't, I could distract him from right here, I can't do that. With my dancing, I was like, hey, you wanna dance over here with me? It doesn't work. So I might kill, I don't wanna just kill people and then be happy with it. I wanna kill people where they just don't see me. I mean, these guys can't see me, but I wanna take care of them, but they're not gonna see the bodyguard. I might, I mean, if they randomly decide to come over here, oh, like this woman. Okay, maybe it's best I kill them. Like just in case, like if I decide to dispose of the body, I'm gonna, gonna put it like right under where the rooftop party is. So hopefully, is this lady gonna move? Okay, where are you gonna go? Yeah, you don't like me. Where are you going? Okay, you're right here, that's perfect. Nobody's around and I could just take care of you over the ledge and then we're taking care of the bunny guy. Hopefully he moves though. Every time I go near him, he doesn't, he doesn't stop dancing, he's, he's always dancing. I think they only affect the people too if they're not dancing. Yeah, because these guys are dancing, and so they just don't wreck it. They don't, like, care that I'm dancing with them. They think it's cool that I'm dancing with them. But, oh, this guy's now stopped. Okay, are you going to move? Are you going to get distracted by awesome dance moves? Okay, huh? Okay, where are you going to go? Where are you going? Hmm, you going near the pool? Where are you stopping? That's, don't worry. I don't, I, you don't need to stop. I could just stop you right into your tracks. And then all of the guys, the guy is spinning, which I don't think I really need to distract him. I just need to kill him and then put him over the roof. Or put him over the edge, as they say it. Or it should be said. What am I saying? I've gotten this far and I'm really, again, I'm really shaking because I don't want anything to mess up and do the whole thing all over again. <laughs> okay. I just need that bodyguard. He's making me so nervous. Maybe, okay, I'm gonna wait for a while. Maybe study a little bit more of where his pattern goes. And then he looks down this way. I could come up, go where the tube is. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Like I could just hide in the corner or something and maybe he doesn't see me. Okay, I'm gonna wait. And maybe slip past, past, past him. Because if I, I'm not, he's faster than me. I'm not gonna be outrunning him and I don't have running shoes. Again, I'm not able to get the briefcase trench coat guy isn't here so if I had running shoes it would help so much but I don't have it so I have to just be quick about this and maybe if he doesn't see me I could just hide here and if he doesn't I will enter through the tube are you gonna go the other way please oh, suspension just waiting being patient let the prey come to you Yes! I took care of him! Oh, it's all about patience. And you know what? 
you're the last guy, so I'm gonna put you through the blender of the fans. And it's just three, three guys. Oh, what's in the, what's in the bag? What's in the case that I can use you on? Pizza. What? Oh, it delivers the pizza guy, maybe? Put down pizza. I've never seen this before. What is it? Is it a bomb? I've never seen this before. What is it? Can I go up to it? I, I can poison the food, but that's poisoning the punch. Maybe if I distract these guys? These guys never stop dancing though. How am I gonna kill them if they never stop dancing? Maybe I should have put the pizza in the pizza in the middle of them? I don't know, it's gonna I don't want to lose progress. It's just three people! I took care of the DJ a long while ago because I didn't want him to spot me if I kill people in front of the pool area. I don't think I know like band members can call you up, like if they see like somebody kill them, like they'll stop the drums and they'll run. But I haven't seen I don't think I've seen the DJ stop and then go for the phone. They're gonna be fast enough to get get past the stairs and go to the phone. Uh, it's can I pick up the pizza again? Can I move it? I can't. This is a conundrum. I don't think I could get it, and I can't push these people over the edge because there's no crack in the wall. No, and the punch is gone. Okay. A moment of high silence. Okay, I need to have all my fingers ready, just in case. Kill, kill, kill. Yes! Oh, I killed them all! It would be easy too if I had the katana because I could do one swoop. Oh, I am so thankful that worked though. I just continually stabbed, I did not let go. I thought they would be running like around me and they just kept running towards my knife, which is perfect. Yes, we took her, we took care of the pool, par pool party. I'm losing words here. I'm just so glad I didn't have to do that all over again. His What's the story from here? Onwards for the next few weeks at pretty full force. As I understand it, his newfound experience with medicinal drugs really got him Ooh. fired up, correct? He I just guess. became unrelenting and the public were completely losing confidence in the police force. Well, no, they'd already lost all confidence. Now they were forming task forces and going out onto the streets themselves looking for him. Huh. He even had followers by this point. Oh, Groups of people more people? Who saw what he was doing as some kind of means to a human utopia. <laughs> we just couldn't keep up with him. Wow, this is getting a lot more into the story and it's getting a lot more interesting. So now not just the lady got interested in like being with us, but now other people are into like interesting and wanting to help him out. They're not gonna end up dead though. I have that sneaking suspicion. What is this? It doesn't, wait a minute. It says Halloween on it. I just did a Halloween episode in this area. I don't, it's not labeled or anything. It was like, I called it the Van Helsing. He looks like Van Helsing. The setting is really like castle setting, but we're going to another Halloween party. That is really interesting. I did not think they put two Halloweens in here. Maybe they made that level. Maybe these were levels made back like when they did the game and then this happened to happen on October and they decided to do it. That is really cool. I mean, kind of like now I've, I've already done this game and now we're doing another Halloween. This Halloween never ends. It shall live on forever. Fall will last for every day. I love fall, I love it. So thank you so much for watching everybody. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a punch. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. them too because we got unlocked the girl down here because she was part of our group and because she died she's not with us anymore but are these i thought these were skins for our actual person or are these the people that are actually following us that'd be kind of interesting